hey guys welcome to another informative video about lublin poland please subscribe for more videos like this one and also comment down below and let me know if you have any questions or video requests so this is one of the best applications you can use in lublin it's called best navi and this is what the home page looks like when you touch on the top left corner where it says Lublin, you have an option to change cities or countries. As you can see, it's also used in Ireland, the US and United Kingdom. Here in Poland, you can use this application in Białystok, Bydgoszcz, Helm, Częstochowa, Gdańsk, Lublin, Warszawa, Katowice, Krakow, oh, almost all the cities in Poland have this application. So it's quite easy for you to navigate yourself around uh, Poland. So how do you use this application? You can start by tapping on that search icon or where it says search for root. Now I've been using this application all this time. That's why it is showing Popiewuski to Shmaragdova because that is the last route that I searched for. For you guys, it will be different because you will be using this application for the first time. So just tap here so that you can select your location. Touch on the top where it says bus stop name or address and then type the name of the bus stop that you are at. For example, Prusa, you can just type in the first few letters of the word and it will be automatically suggested below and then you click on it. Next, click right here to type your destination bus stop. For example, WSSB, which is the Vincent Paul University bus stop. And then click on the blue search icon to search for available buses. These are the buses that go from Prusa to WSSP. Bus 23 leaves Prusa 03 in six minutes and the journey will take nine minutes. Then bus 29 departs Prusa 03 in seven minutes and it will arrive at WSSB at 10.14. Bus 160 departs Yachevskiego 01 at 10.13 and arrives at WSSB at 10.19. Now we searched for Prusa to WSSB but here it's showing Yachevskiego as well because it is nearer to Prusa. So in the event that you do not find a bus that's leaving Prusa, going to WSSP, you can walk to Yachevskiego and find a bus there. Click right here to see the bus details. As you can see, the bus leaves Prusa 03 and passes by four other bus stops and then it goes to WSSP. Click right here to see more details and now as you can see those are the names of the other four bus stops that's Paganiniego, Oratorena, Orfeus and Zinego. The blue line on the left shows the position of the bus based on the bus GPS and the red countdown on the right um, top right corner uh, shows minutes remaining to get to WSSP. So if you want to see more of the other bus stops that the bus goes to, you can click right here. Um, yeah, so now you can see that the bus passed by Dunleo Bear 02, Lotnicha 02, Park Bronovice 04 before it got to Prusa. And then after it leaves WSSP, it will go to Schlifinskiego 01, 
Paderewski Go zero six um, etc. When you click back, the bus will now be highlighted in gray. This shows that the bus has already left Prusa zero three. What I've just explained is what you do when you know the names of the bus stops. But let's just say you've just arrived in Lublin and you want to go to WSSP, but you don't know the name of uh, the bus stop that is nearest to you. Just click on the search icon once again and then click on my location. Make sure that the destination remains WSSP and then search for available buses. It will show you the buses that go to your chosen destination that is WSSP from the bus stops that are near to you. For example, from my location, um, I can walk for 414 meters to Nawinchowska 02 to get bus 42 that leaves in 22 minutes and it will arrive at WSSP um, at 10.38 or I can wait for bus 155 at Nawinchowska 02 again and um, go to Cool 02 and then walk to cool 01 to get bus 44 that will take me to WSSP1. Now this is what we call connecting. It's just like connecting flights but then now you'll be connecting buses. I do not, I do not recommend this for people who have just arrived in Lublin or in Poland in general because you can and you will get lost. If you do not want to use your location, you can click here where it says uh, show on the map. So that red dot right there is your location. It's just like using Google Maps. So you can zoom in on the map um, using this plus sign or locator. Uh, to move to your location or the nearest bus stop and please note the GPS coordinates changing uh, on the top of the screen as you move that uh, plus sign or the locator on the map so use the locator to find the nearest bus stop to your location let's say this is your location right here and um, you can move the GPS locator to the nearest bus stop that is Piastowska 01 right here and also Piastowska 02 right there. So those are the two closest bus stops to your location. Select here and then search for the buses uh, that are available click on the bus to see the bus details of course then click on this blue icon um, it's a map icon and then you can actually zoom in and use this blue icon as a guide to show you if you are walking in the right direction to the bus stop or if you're going the wrong way it's just like using google maps like i said so as you will be walking that blue icon will be moving also so if you are going the wrong way it will show you back at this page again so right here it says recently used so this is your search history it shows the bus stops that you have searched for before and if you scroll down it will show you the closest bus stops to your location as it says here closest stops so right here now in Chowska is like 372 meters away and Pana Tadeusha is 481 meters away 
so if you scroll down further uh, you will see the list of all the all the bus stops that are in Dublin like all of them from A to Z so that's where you find all the other bus stops if you do not know the spelling of the bus stop that you want to go to you can just scroll down as well until you reach um, that bus stop and then select on it and yeah you're good to go so that's where you find all the bus stops that are in Lublin this application works best when you have internet connection because it lets you know if the bus is early or if it's going to be late. it actually shows you like how many minutes the bus will be delayed so that you know how many minutes you have to walk to the bus stop so that you don't miss the bus so it is good if you have data in your phone or if you have um, internet connection when using this application I hope that this video has answered your questions and it will help you settle down when you finally come to Lublin, Poland. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't and feel free to comment down below and um, let me know if you have any other video ideas that you want me to work on. Yeah. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>